Hello everyone and welcome to my channel in my tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create rolling average of the value field available in your report. In today's tutorial, I have the sales field over here and I want to calculate the rolling average, let's say for the last 12 months. So how do we do this? So let's get started with this tutorial. So I'm going to right click on the table over here and select new quick measure and you will see this particular dialog box over here. So from this particular drop down, I'm going to scroll down and choose rolling average. So in the first section over here, it's asking us for the base value. And in my case, it is the sales amount. So I'm going to drag the sales amount column over here. And the date here is my order date. So I'm going to bring in the order date into the date section. And the next section over here, it's asking us to select whether it is days or months or quarters or years. You can do rolling average for let's say last 15 days, last 30 days, etc. Likewise, you can do for months, last six months rolling average, last nine months rolling average, likewise for quarters and years as well. In this example, let's go ahead with months for now. And then on the next section here, it's asking us to enter periods before. Now, in this case, I want to look back last 12 months. So I'm going to enter 11 over here and period after I'm going to mention zero. Now, the reason why I entered 11 over here is, for example, let's say you're in the month of December and you want to calculate the rolling average for the last 12 months. The way it gets calculated in BI is that you need if you mention 11 over here it's going to look back excluding december it's going to look back last 12 months that is until january and then return the rolling average including december in this case right so i'm going to mention 11 over here and periods after i'm going to leave it at zero and then click on and you will see that a new measure get, gets added into this particular report this is the dax that has been calculated automatically by bi we don't have to write anything in this case so what I will do is I'm going to simply check this box over here and I will see that we have added the rolling average into our particular table over here. So I'm going to just close this for a moment and you will see all of this data being added into this particular table. Now let me quickly take a screenshot of this and take you back to Excel so that you understand this better. I'm going to paste the screenshot over here. So if we look at the data for the month of December, our rolling average is 414,793 and our spend is our sales is 687,245. That is exactly what we have over here. So what this is doing is it is calculating the sales amount for the last 12 months and calculating an average. The average is 414,792. That is exactly what we have in our BI 414,793, which is rounded off. And in the month of November, it's going to look back in the last 11 months until December. So the average here is 400,000. That is exactly what we have over here. Now, if you want to change the values, you can simply come over here and instead of, let's say, last 12 months, if you want to look at, let's say, last six months data. So what I'm going to do here is enter minus five and press enter. And now you will see that our data is being displayed for last six months rolling average. And what you can do is you can also change the visual here to something like line and clustered column chart. So once we have changed this to a line and column chart, I'm going to click on expand to next level so that I see all the months over here and then bring in my sales rolling average into the line Y axis. And now you will see that we have a line which is telling us what the rolling average is for the last six months and you can also make that dynamic now to make that dynamic i'm going to go here into the modeling tab i have a detailed tutorial made on the uh, parameters so you can watch that tutorial on my channel for now i'm going to quickly explain this i'm going to go here to numeric range let me give it a name to this particular parameter i'm going to call this as dynamic rolling average and then in the minimum section over here, I'm going to mention minus 11 because max that I want to go is minus 11 because that is going to be 12 months for me. And then on the maximum, I'm going to leave that as minus one. Increment is going to be one. I'm going to click on create and a new slicer gets added to the page over here. And I can scroll down this from minus 11 to minus one. You can change this based on your requirements if you're looking at days and if you want to look at minus 30 days, you can change the values here. And now what I will do is I will go back to the measure that I have over here. So instead of minus five, I'm going to change this to dynamic parameter average value. This is the parameter that we just created. I'm going to commit this particular DAX 
And now when I move this particular slider over here, if I choose, let's say minus eight, which means that it is now displaying last nine months rolling average, this is the line that we get to see. And if I change this to minus 11, you will see this is moving and this is the last 12 months moving average. And if you want just last three months moving average, you can just change this to, to minus two. And this is your last three months moving average. I hope this was an extremely easy tutorial for you to follow and learn something new today. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.